Hello, Archibald Chesterfield the third, AC3. And today, today, we're doing paid reviews. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. Remember, look in the description for 10 ways you can help me say stay full time on YouTube. And today, I've been asked a very interesting question. And I don't talk about movements as much as I should. That's one criticism I will cop on the chin. Hello, Archie. Love the channel. Sometimes I agree to disagree, and other times I couldn't agree more with some of your content. Either case, yours is a very entertaining channel. I've sent you 20 US dollars through PayPal and would like you to discuss what you feel are the top five important movements ever designed and why. I hope that everyone who enjoys the channel will find this an interesting topic. I look forward to watching it. All the best. Wowzers, that's a very, very interesting topic. The five best, the five best movements. Whew. Let's start. Now, I'm going to start off at the Patek end. One of the movements I really love is the Patek 215 movement. Now, that is Patek's bread and butter manual wind movement. That movement is in things like the 3919, which was the classic Calatrava that came out in the 80s. It's in things like... Uh, even things like a rectangular 5010. Uh, it's in 5009, one of my favorite watches. It's in the 5119, the 5196. They all use the Patek 215 movement. Manual wind, no date, just a simple, very, very good bread and butter movement. The next movement I want to talk about is the the Patek 324 movement. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta, I'm just gonna move my stand over here. I gotta tell you, these are a very, 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 very versatile movement. The 324 movement was uh, that that type of movement there was um, it's in the five one two seven. It's in the five two nine six. It's used by so many different pieces, and I I've got to be honest with you. It's the three two four movement is probably Patek's movement of choice. It's in the five seven one one. The 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 Nautilus, which is the one everyone is crazy for, it's a it's a fabulous movement, and I I gotta tell you, it's it's one of these. Um, it's got the big the big rotor. That's how you can tell it. It's a very nice movement in the display back, and um, an interesting thing is is that Patek uses a. Uh, 21 or 22 karat gold rotor and um, the first Patek automatic movement came out in 1953 and the, the 324 movement is a really really cool piece it's it's probably see that that movement is also it powers a lot of the um, it, it powers a lot of the annual calendars and the annual calendar chronograph. They, they use that 324 type of movement there. And I, 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 can't, I can't fault it. It, it, it it's, it's a cool movement. It's a very, very attractive looking piece. And you, you really can't go, you really can't go wrong with it. It's it's got a lot of um, push on that movement there. It, it just it just works so well. They, they they've used it across 
the range in so many pieces. So many watches uh, Patek ha has used that, that machine on there. And, you know, that that movement itself is is probably their bread and butter movement for the future. It's it's a non-hacking movement, believe it or not. I, I, I didn't know this until I I bought one of the you know, I had my, my Calatrava, but um it's 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 really quite a um it's quite an interesting um movement itself there. And the the three two four movement itself, it's actually the 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 version I had in my um, in my 5107 was a 315 movement. So the, the 315 became the 324. So when I say 324, it encompasses both those those movements there. The, the 324 is a high at Hertz movement of the 315. The, um, the Hertz is how many beats per second beats per hour they have there normally it's about i think the the three to fours are 28 8 28,800 whereas the the uh the th the 315 was a 21,000 something movement so um that's that that that's that's that 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 family of movements that the next movement which i i really really love is the the patek Two, two, sorry, protect two four zero movement. That's the micro rotor movement, and uh, that that movement itself there is what is in my world time. So it's it's famous. If you look at the display back, it's famous for having that little spindle there, that little spindle, and um, that that movement itself. <clears throat> Also is used on many complications. Patek uses a two four zero movement on their perpetual calendar. It's based on a two four zero movement. They they use it on the world time movement. So it's it's really quite a um, it's quite a cool cool movement indeed there. And uh, the, the the two four zero movement itself there. It's a twenty seven joule movement. I mean that that probably the jewels the number of jewels you know doesn't make it good or bad you know obviously certain number of jewels you need um, but it's it's quite a I, I think it's a it's a great movement the 240 movements been always been there really up market um, in their up market type of movement there now the dual count does change if you look at the world time it's actually i think it's 30 i think it's 33 jewels they they use in 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 the world time uh in, in the 240 hu movement uh but i mean look that that movement base that 240 movement is pretty spectacular i i think it's i think it's a really really good movement and uh I mean, do, do I prefer the two four zero? Do I prefer the three two four movement? Look, they're both pretty good. Different applications. Interestingly, interestingly, the two four zero doesn't have center seconds, whereas the the three two four movement and the three one five movement you could ha have that with center seconds. That's just a um, a characteristic. The three two four movement, I think, has got about twenty nine joules from memory. And uh, fabulous, fabulous movement indeed. There, um, the 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 two two one five movement itself. There, oh geez, what's that? Uh, I think it's about eighteen dual movement. But um, you know, the the thing is, the, the, these are these are quality Rolex seems to that they've changed a lot of movement numbers over the years whereas Patek smaller production run their mo these movements I think are the key to Patek itself there I mean that's why when you say what are the five what movements are the best well most highly regarded I I, I have to give it the <clears throat> the Patek 215 movement because it's it's Patek's bread and butter manual wind the three one five high slash 
324 movement. That's their big rotor automatic movement. They use it on the 5107, 5127, all those uh, annual calendars. They use that movement. The annual calendar chronographs, they use that basic, basic block there. Then you've got the Patek 240 movement. That micro rotor movement is really quite... Um, it's really quite fantastic. It, 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 it's, it's a great movement. It, it, it is a really, really, um, it's a really great movement. The, the other movement, I suppose, you'd, you'd have to say, if you're talking about movements, what's a great movement? I, I'd have to give it to Omega, which uses the, um, I'd have to say, the 861 movement. Now, even my Speedmaster itself, it's got the 1861, which is a rhodium version, rhodium plated version of the 861. That 861 is probably, <clears throat> I reckon, one of the best manual wind chronograph movements of all time. It is fantastic. It's 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 a great movement, and you know they they've used it. That came out late 60s, and it's it's still used in so many so many pieces it's it's that that, that is a, a killer that's a, just a great movement itself there so um I, I i don't think you can you can mistake that movement there now in in the fifth spot this is where it gets hard there because i'm thinking you know what what movement um what movement would you um what movement would you would you give this spot to? And um, I'd I'd have to say you know Rolex has really evolved a lot with their movements there. They they put a lot of R and D into their movements. Um, I I think you'd have to give it probably if you're going to pick a Rolex movement, I think the three one three five movement, which is the base for a lot of their current movements. Um, it's 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 a movement which was made famous mainly. They 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 that movement was used in a lot of date just, used in a lot of submariners, particularly the sapphire submariners. It was a um, it's a quick set movement. Um, the three one three five is probably. I I, I think that base uh, caliber there is probably one of the best all time now you, you could say well what about these new these new rolex movements yeah yeah they 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 um i i, I really love the 3135 movement and that's because it's so it's it's easily easy a lot easier to fix than these i think rolex is being a bit of a bastard where they 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 are really they're really um trying to get these movements where no other bastard can fix them besides themselves these special main springs and <clears throat> things like that are just going to make it hard for anyone else to do any service work and uh i think that's a shame i mean the the swiss are so fucking greedy they are so fucking greedy i i mean i love the swiss i love swiss watches but fuck are they the most they're really fucking nasty fuckers when it comes to money. You know, they, <laughs> they're fucking nasty. But uh, anyhow, so there you go, fuckers. Five fantastic movements. Five fantastic movements. I don't know if, if you guys want me to talk about these movements in, 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 in detail. I mean, I, I love, I love, I love movements because that's the heart. It's like the engine to the watch. But m many people... You know, you start talking movement numbers, and it gets a bit fucking, gets a bit, gets a bit fucking um, away from the aesthetics and you know other things. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I kind of, uh, I mean, I'm not a watchmaker too. That's the other thing too. I, 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 I wouldn't pull one of these fuckers apart. Um, but there you go. And I, and I think as a a final, a sixth movement. What other movement would you have to, you'd have to recognise? This is something you, a lot of you fuckers wouldn't wouldn't give me credit for. But I think you'd have to recognise the Valjoux 
7750 movement. I mean, that movement, it's the automatic chronograph, Breitling, IWC, Hamilton, so many watchmakers, so many big companies have used it. I think you'd, you'd have to mention the, the 7750 movement. It's a killer movement. And uh, it's, it's powered a lot of great pieces. So uh, there you go, Arch. There you go, fuckers. That's, um, that's six movements. Six great movements. Tell me what you fuckers think. Tell me what you fuckers think. I'm Archie Luxury. Talking wristwatch movements, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.